Hi there. Uh, I did something out of character a couple of weeks ago. I bought a PC. Uh, but I did it for a reason. I did it so that I could run an Oculus Rift virtual reality system and more importantly start to learn how to use the tools to actually author for that system and start to make stuff. Uh, because I want to make stuff in that realm. So, uh, and all the predominant programs for building stuff are on the PC. So I got myself a gamer's PC and uh, got it all hooked up here. And for the last week or so, I've been doing a lot of experiments with this program called Quill that is free from Oculus. Uh, and uh, it's a 3D, 360 degree paint program. It lets you basically paint in the air and it stays there and you can do all kinds of crazy stuff. So I'm going to give you a demo of that. But I also want to talk a little bit about the interface and just like what it's like getting into VR for the first time. So, yeah. so if you already own an Oculus, uh, whatever, if you've already, you know, if you're already a VR cybernaut, uh, you're not the audience for this. This is for folks who've never done it or, you know, are just getting started or what have you. Okay, so this is the controller. And when you first set it up, they actually have a very nice little onboarding uh, program that lets you see your hands in space and you see the controllers in front of you and uh, they there's a left and a right obviously and they have two triggers on the underside one here where you would expect it and then another one under here which sometimes has you know different meanings almost like the alt key under windows and then there's two raised buttons on either side x and y and a and b actually it's x and y and a and b and a couple of flat bailout buttons when it's just a general oculus drop me back to the to the main menu thing and another menu button for whatever and a pair of joysticks to move around and select things and the joysticks can also be pushed in like buttons as well so you got like basically like three things that are going pow 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 you know and uh, so that's that's how you move around and then of course you move around like this and it tracks your head and you'll see okay so there's a purple cube and a little uh, white sphere. The white sphere is from my right hand, the purple cube is from my left hand. Uh, let's start over here. If I push the button on this hand, there's a menu. You can see I'm, I'm holding the menu with this hand and I'm poking at it with this hand. Okay. Uh, this menu uh, fulfills several functions. That's a gallery. I can go open up other demos and stuff. That's a transform menu. There's a tools menu. There's color palette picker, there's layers in this program, uh, there's an animation engine for the different layers, and there's a file manager in here, open, save, blah, blah, export, so on and so forth. So, But I could also, if I didn't want to hold this menu up, I could actually just grab a hold of it with that, that trigger that's on the underside. If I grab a hold of that, I can pull it off. Here's my uh, color palette. I can actually continue to do this, grab it with the underside, and actually well, all these menus and put them right here so that they're all built to me. So I have the whole panoply of capability right over there. All right, I'm going to start painting. Well, that's kind of nice, right? The thing is, if I walk around like this, you can see that it actually has some depth to it, right? I can actually pick it up and move it around and this way it almost looks like a highway or something, right? Let's go over here, it's a nice blue and a different kind of brush maybe. Let's just grab something like this. And, uh, but as you can see, there's all different kinds of textures and all that you can make here. And you can grab a hold of the whole thing and move it around. You can also like colorize it uh, like that. So this is a neat little sketch and all, and it gives you an idea of some of the capabilities of the pen tools, uh, but you can do an awful lot more. And rather than walk you through every single one of them blow by blow, I actually made, uh, pre-baked in, in an oven, uh, some, some examples that I can show you. And here's one of them right here. Yeah, we can get right up close, as you can see. This is, this is kind of fun for folks who are art geeks or what have you. You can get right in on the keystrokes. You try to do this in a museum, they kick you out. Now, you know, it's one thing looking at them on a TV screen, and I, I hope you can get the idea that there's this correlation between what I'm doing here, right, and what you're looking at. You know, a lot of them look like snakes or slugs or 
some kind of strange undersea life of one sort or another. We can fly overhead here and zoom way in. And the thing is that I know some of this might be a little dizzy making, looking at it on the TV and all like that, but because I'm controlling it, it doesn't have that effect on me. It's like some people get terribly car sick unless they're driving themselves. Right? I kind of like the way this one came out. Anyway, so that was all that. That's, uh, that was a Saturday afternoon. <clears throat> but uh, let me show you something else that is really cool that it does, because it's not just for sketches like this. You can do all kinds of groovy uh, animations. Okay, so here's, here's the, this sculpture thing that I built. And uh, what this, what this <laughs> shows, this thing right here is actually a clown face right here. It's been replicated a bazillion times, right? This thing back here, this is, uh, this is an interesting beast. This has got a lot of stuff going on inside. It's basically just one of these squiggles, like these things up here, replicated a million times. So, all right, so how do you do that? Well, I'm going to start painting in space. That's kind of interesting looking. Uh, I think what I'll do is uh, maybe drop some different colors on it. So now check this out. It's a selection tool, and uh, this is the size of the selection. I can make it as huge as I want. I'm just going to click and drag on this whole thing. This whole thing is selected now. Now they have this thing where you can show the gimbal for this object, and this is the gimbal. It's a it's a uh, maneuvering mechanism here. I'm going to pull this down here, and it allows me to rotate this thing this way, right, or this way. Right, or this way, okay? I think, let's see, I can move this, so in relation, if I put this in the middle, and go like this, it'll rotate around this thing. If I move it out here, it'll rotate around like this. So I kind of like this. This, 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 this looks like it might have possibilities. Okay, so what we can do is, I'm gonna hold down the button, uh, the trigger on my left hand, and I'm gonna click and drag one time to make a duplicate going around this axis, and then I hit the joystick to the right on my left hand, and it keeps making duplicates all the way around the gimbal. So it gets back to the beginning again. All right. And now this whole thing is one big object. It's right. kind of cool. All right. all right, the last thing I wanted to show you is about animated brushes. and. Uh, Basically, you have the ability to set uh, the duration of the animation for each keystroke, and uh, each one of these keystrokes could be uh, animated in its own way and use all the various properties just like any other paintbrush would. Let's see what that looks like in practice. Here's the animation timeline. We have to add a bunch of keyframes here onto the timeline, so we have some frames to work with, but you can actually just push the joystick button in, and it will add keyframes for you. So let's add about a half a second here. Let's uh, start this thing rolling, and I've got a semi-translucent uh, green brush here, and I'm just going to paint the space and just see what happens. All right? How about we go like this? Yes. Wow, that's pretty radical. Actually, you can go like, like this. There we go. That's kind of cool. Again, I can grab a hold of this thing and move it all over the place so I can look at it from any different perspective. Wow. So those are animated brushes. So that's Quill. Uh, it's pretty amazing. As I say, it's free from Oculus. I don't work for Oculus. Um, and again, when you are doing it uh, and it's, you're in it and it's right in front of you and you're floating all around you, it's a completely different experience than looking at it through this tiny window here. But I encourage you to try it.
Okay. See you next time.